Hey guys, what's going on? I cannot wait to show you guys the way to automate pan, tilt, and zoom control based on the person speaking. This is perfect for podcasts, for radio stations, where depending on the microphone that is active, we can either call a certain preset or actually direct the camera so that it's totally hands off for the radio show host to get a great video production. Let's take a look, come on. All right, so here we are in our podcasting studio and we've got our PTZ Optics camera set up here to trigger based on all four of these microphones. So how does it know which microphone is on? Ray. Me. Ba. So. La. Well, our digital audio mixer supports a technology called Osseo. And Osseo USB drivers allow the audio mixer to bring in each audio source independently. So therefore, we could set up our software. We're using vMix here, but there are a couple other softwares that can do this as well to trigger the PTZ camera to move to the person that we'd like based on whether or not the microphone is active. This is great for podcasts radio stations and also like government town hall meetings where there's maybe like eight or ten microphones up and you want the camera to zoom into the person who's on there and you want to automate all of that to make your life easier. Let me show you the software and how it works. Okay so here's the software right here you can see there is an audio input for me, there's one for Tess, there's one for Mike, and there's one for Julia. Tess why don't you go ahead and talk for a second. This is me testing the Osseo driver. And you can see the microphone went right to test. And when I start talking, the microphone goes to me. Hey, get that back. There we go. <laughs> Pass it on over here. There we go. And I'll take it from here. Ta-da! Now the reason why this is important, and there's a lot of different ways to set this up, I'm going to show you guys how this is set up right now. So essentially what we do in each microphone area, okay, is that we can have triggers. And that what the trigger says is on completion, so, oh sorry, this would be, sorry, on audio meter, and I have decimal level 18, so when decimal level 18 hits, go ahead and fade to the PTZ camera input that we have for Paul, because this is Paul's microphone, so Paul has a PTZ preset that goes directly to him. It's really that simple. So here's our PTZ camera here. So for example, here is Matt, and so we can just zoom over to him. We can create a preset for him. I believe Matt is 27, so I'll just update that right there. And then Matt has his own unique microphone. It says Julia here, because Julia's normally there. But we have this trigger to go to when, when Matt's microphone is at decimal level 18, and of course there's a couple of options, it could be 18, 12, or 6, fade to this PTZ input. Now you can do a lot of other things too. You could just go to a um, preview. You could show a wide shot. You could do any video solution in here. In fact, we even have like a ceiling camera we have a wide angle camera, so you can choose between a lot of different options, but the way we have it set up is this one camera is going to cover all the podcasters so that it's a hands-free environment for the video production. So there's a lot of options for uh, controlling these cameras. You can control the speed, so you can have it pan really slow, or you can have it go fast. And then position speed is the speed between the presets. So you can kind of really fine tune how quickly you want the cameras to be zooming in between these presets. All right, so I just wanted to show that to you guys for those of you doing podcasting, radio streaming, and of course town halls and government agencies that have all those microphones. That is one easy way to automate the pan, tilt, zoom camera control operation based on individual microphones. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we always have great information coming to you guys about high tech 
uh, audio and video communications and productions. By the way, check out our link below at ptzoptics.com slash radio. We just finished live streaming a radio station and we kind of made this video for you radio folks out there and podcasters who are interested in the hands-free video production environment. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.